Welcome to the Your Color Style podcast, where we believe the more you know about color, the more you'll know what colors flatter you best. I'm your host, Jen Thoden. Life is too short to feel frumpy. That is a direct quote from Deborah Boland, who is the style expert and publisher of the blog Fabulous After 40. It is a fantastic blog that is designed for women over 40 with lots of style tips and outfit ideas, and she is just fabulous. She comes from a background of 20 years as of being on TV, and so she is just full of information and inspiration, and I am so excited to be sharing this interview with you. So listen to the whole thing. There is nuggets of style tips and inspiration throughout the entire conversation. And I hope that you enjoyed this interview as much as I enjoyed it. It was really, really a fun time. You have this amazing blog for women over 40. Um, I was been reading through it. And I mean, I absolutely love all the style tips that you offer. And I would love it if you would share your story. Like, why did you start this blog? What, what inspired you? Oh, okay. Well, I started back in 2006 and nobody was doing blogging in 2006, just beginning. And I actually had worked in television for over 20 years. I was a lifestyle television producer and a host. So I covered all kinds of topics like um, fashion. I covered, you know, home decor. I covered celebrities and whatever was popular, you know, at the moment I was doing. Anyhow, I had a lot of fashion experience yeah. and, um, I was, you know, when I, I got married later in life and had kids and I got out of television because the hours are just crazy when you're working in television. And somebody okay. told me about uh, blogging and I thought, okay, well, that kind of sounds like fun. Let's, <laughs> let's, let's try that. Let's play around with that. Right. So I started blogging and the reason I started blogging about fashion was I had, I was just over 40 and I was really frustrated because I found that my body was changing. Oh, yeah. um, my lifestyle was changing. You know, I wasn't a television producer at home uh, anymore. I was at home with little kids. Yeah. Um, I was, you know, that had changed. My body was changing. My lifestyle. There weren't any clothes in stores that I could find that really were me. They were either, you know, Forever yeah. 21 or uh, Little yeah. Lady Sears, you know. <laughs> so, and there wasn't anything in between. And there were no role right. models. I wasn't seeing any women in their 40s in mm -hmm. magazines or anything like that. So I felt really, really frustrated. And I thought, you know what, darn it. I have always loved fashion. Ever since I was a little girl, you know, my dressed up in my mom's clothes. I was <laughs> the Barbie thing. Um, you know, I was always the girl in high school who always came in with a new outfit and loved to style clothes. And I thought, I don't want to give that part of my life up. Like, you know, I don't want to just go into right. this bumpy land. I want to still, you know, feel good about myself. And the way I felt good about myself was dressing up and looking great. Because I really believe when you look good, you feel yeah. good. And, right. you know, life is so much more fun. So I thought, well, the heck with this. I'm going to find a way. I'm going to find the stores. I'm going to find, you know, how I need to style my clothes now that I'm a little bit older. I need to... I, I'm going to look into all of this and I'm going to write about it on a blog. Right. Yeah. So I, I just started yeah. getting a big following way back then because nobody was doing blogs and nobody was mm -hmm. writing about this and didn't really know what to do with it because you couldn't really monetize <laughs> blogs back then. Right. You know, I, used to do, I used to do these offline fashion seminars. You know, I'd have uh, the blog and then I'd do some offline fashion seminars, but you really couldn't oh. make money with blogs. Right. Right. You probably found that too. It just, <laughs> it was, yeah. But it's but, but then all of a sudden it changed, you know. Yeah, it changed no about kidding. Six years ago. So yeah, and, and so now it's become a business for you, right? Absolutely. I mean, yeah. it was a business then, but it was kind of like I have this business, I have a big following, but I'm not sure what yeah. to do with it. Yeah. Um. So then, about six years ago, the affiliate program started coming into place. You know, okay. which are what you're selling on commission for stores. You know, recommending yeah. their clothing, and that was fantastic. And big companies like Reward Style and Shop Style came into being. And suddenly, you know, you could talk about something and pull links and show your readers exactly what you were talking about. So there was oh, yeah. a business model there. You yeah. Know? And it, it's so great because you can put the outfits together and then, you know, people can actually go buy the stuff that you actually recommend. Um, and yeah. I, you have it all over your site. There's like so many, so many fun 
out tips and outfits and all i mean i was playing around and everything you know and all, you know you can you can click and buy just about anything that's up on your site right now so yeah. that's a lot and the, and the ladies <laughs> like it too because you know before it was frustrating yeah. you'd show something and there wasn't a way for them to purchase it and i find a lot of my gals over 40 mm -hmm. the main thing is that they have trouble um knowing what colors look good for them knowing what styles look good for them how to dress their bodies and so forth yeah. so you can actually show them with real clothes you know that they can purchase so yeah, yeah. so that, that's what my community is all about we just like to you know it's laid back it's casual i like to have fun with my ladies i like to feel that community feeling because i think yeah. when you're over 40 i think you know having that community is so much more important you've got all these questions in your head about you know does this look good on me am i too old to wear this um you know and, and yeah. so it's nice to have the other ladies around you to give you feedback Right. And, you know, it's funny because it, it, that, you know, you when you have kids, like how, so how many kids do you have? I have three. I have uh, two boys that are in university and my daughter's in grade 10 going into grade 11. Yeah. OK. OK. My daughter is uh, 11 going into going into 12. So we just had prom. Last oh, OK. Yeah. <laughs> um, but uh, no, you know, it's interesting, you know, we, 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 especially when we we kind of leave the world for a, a short bit. And we and we have our kids and not everyone yeah. has necessarily the opportunity to stay home or choose to stay home with their kids. But when you do, I I feel like we kind of go into this bubble, right? We're, we're so consumed with everything that's going on with our small kids, right? We give so much of ourselves to their lives that all of a sudden we realize that we've completely ignored ourselves, right? And oh, that's so um, true. And, you know, whether it's 40, whether it's, you know, 45, 50, depending on where you are in that everybody has their children at different times, you know, um, but I just feel like I think every woman probably feels that way at some point where all of a sudden it's like, oh, I'm ready to take care of myself again. But yet I have zero idea how to do that. Now. Right. I've right? been out of it for so long. Yeah. You know, I've been in maternity clothes or I've just yeah. been paying attention to other things that I don't even know what's in style. Yeah. I don't even know if you know, what looks good on me anymore. I, mm -hmm. I just, there's a lot of confusion, definitely a lot of confusion yeah. after 40. And the other thing I find too, I don't know if you've noticed this, but mm -hmm. I find women over 40 have this creative side that they want to express yeah. that, you know, maybe when they were younger, you know, they had to go to the corporate job and they, mm -hmm. you know, they had to find a husband and get married, not had to, but they wanted to find a husband and get married yeah. and they were busy with those type of things. And um, there was no time for their creative self. And then after forty, it's like, hmm, I want to, I want to, I want to be more creative. I want to express it side wow. of me. And of course, the natural way to express that is through your clothing. So yes. it's kind of fun. It's like a little bit like being a teenager again, where you can experiment a little bit and try some new things. You know? Yeah, you know that that's a great word, experiment. You know, I think that we have to, as women, need to give ourselves permission to try something different and new every once in a while. Mm -hmm. You know, I think we're, we get, I've, I've met so many women that are so afraid to try something mm -hmm. um, because they feel like they're going to look silly or they're going to look too young or it's not going to look good. And I always try to encourage and go, you should try it. Like try that red, try that color. Cause you're going, you'd be surprised at how good it's going to make you feel. Oh, yeah. you try it. oh okay. I can remember when I had my I think second child, Mm -hmm. And, you know, I had them all pretty close together and I went into a store and I was at that time, I think cargo pants were in, right? Okay. That's what we, we're, <laughs> they were coming in style. Can you imagine? Yep. Not yep, long ago. And, and I thought, ooh, I don't know if I like these and yeah. I can't wear these and blah, 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 you know, and, and then I put them on and, I, you know, after I thought, okay, I'll take a chance. I took them home after about a day or so. You know, they were nice, slim fitting cargo pants. Yeah. They looked great on me, but it's weird how my mind yeah. was, got tricked, you know, that I, I was so, I'd been away from fashion and yeah. style for, you know, a few years that I just was lost. Yeah. Loss is a great word. Right. And, um, and then sometimes and it takes a little while to, to, to figure it out. And, and, um, you know, and so like blogs like yours, you know, people can come and they can like get at least get some inspiration and then just try something like just just try yeah. something. If it doesn't work. Well, OK, it didn't work, you know, but um, well, I, just, I think I think why they get a little bit stuck is sometimes a new trend will come in. Oh, yeah. Um, 
and uh, it, it seems a little too extreme or something. But I always say, you know, there's always a, a there are always many, many versions of a trend. So you can get a more refined, classic version of a trend. You can get a more edgy version of a trend. You can get a middle of the road version of a trend. You know what right. I mean? So yeah, maybe you're just looking at one version of the trend and it's scaring you. But if you actually really shop around and sometimes you have to wait to find your version of that particular trend because not every trend looks good on your body type either sometimes right. it's like oof that's a mistake <laughs> that's right right you know you can and find really... somebody who just does a different cut and all of a sudden that trend looks yep. great on you yeah. you know and you know i think too that we if going out shopping by yourself i think can be a mistake sometimes you know having someone that is open minded and is a good friend or a support system to go shopping with is also a really good idea to encourage you to try something to tell you that you look good in something because we are the our worst critics right oh I'm that's sure. for sure i mean kids have shaped our bodies in all kinds of awesome ways <laughs> And, you know, things don't look like you think they're supposed to when you were 20, but that's okay. And sometimes, I mean, like, I don't know about you, but like for me, I like someone else to tell me that that looks, that looks good. That looks okay. Versus me just kind of ripping myself apart and going, forget it. It's going. It's, it's going hard. Back. It's hard though, isn't it? Because sometimes yeah. you'll go out with a friend and they'll have a completely different style yeah. than you. And they're trying to dress you like them and you're oh, trying yeah. to dress them like you. And now that doesn't work. But if you have yeah. someone like, you know, like I have a sister. Mm -hmm. And she's great like that, where, you know, I'll say to her, yeah, you know, did you notice <laughs> that, you know, you're kind of looking a little bit or yay. Oh, you think so? You know, or yeah. you, whatever. She'll tell me, you know, uh, uh, I don't know your hair. I like a little lo longer or whatever. So if you can have a really close friend like that or, or, yeah. or a relative that you can bounce things off of or, you know, that that's always great. It's a loving push. And I feel that way with my readers. I know they want to try new things. Yeah. And I know they're a little bit scared. And I, I, I try to show them ways to ease into a trend because I mm -hmm. think that's really important, you know, to just kind of ease into it. It makes it so much easier. And they usually, they do. And then they end up loving things. <laughs> so you, you started this blog 13 years ago when you were kind of feeling like you were in a rut and trying to find your own inspiration. Yeah. So how has your style changed since you started this? And has it changed? My st no, I don't think my style has changed. I had a very clear sense of my style my whole life. I okay. am very, I like a very elegant, clean style with a modern twist. So I like very um, clean lines. I'm not one for a lot of ruffles and all that kind of okay. stuff. I like very clean lines. I like beautiful colors. I'm huge on color. I think color makes a tremendous difference in the way someone looks. I know it's been kind of in and out of fashion. You know, one time everybody was doing their colors, mm -hmm. then they got away from that and they were saying, oh, that's a bunch of nonsense. Well, I never believed that color always makes a huge difference in the way you look. And I'm so glad to see that that philosophy is back and people are embracing color because it makes such a difference. We'll get back to talking with Deborah in just a moment. But just like she said, how color makes a difference. If you're trying to figure out what colors look best on you, take the quiz out on the blog at yourcolorstyle.com slash quiz. You'll be walked step by step through the process to help you figure out what colors look best on you. That's yourcolorstyle.com slash quiz. And I like a twist. I like a modern little twist. So I like yeah. some kind of maybe bold kind of new detail, like a, a zipper or, a, mm -hmm. you know, or a, something, some kind of new detail incorporated into a classic look. That's me. So I wouldn't say my style really changed. I would just say I got into a rut, which so many women mm -hmm. do. They they I, they got it. They get in a rut and then they get confused about, well, OK, well, you know, maybe I should be wearing uh, ripped jeans or maybe right. I should be wearing that and I'm I don't know you know no you you if you've always felt you knew your style then you've just gotten in a rut and you need to get out of it and you need to get back what would you tell someone that is 50 years old and is ready 
She's ready now to to really kind of, you know, find herself and, and start to dress in a way that makes her feel good. But she has no idea what her style is. She's been in, like you said, yoga pants and T-shirts for the last 20 years. And yeah. what would you tell someone that it's just at, really in the very beginning of just kind of trying to figure out their style? Well, you know, anyone who has great style, it's because their inside matches their outside. In other words, mm. who they are matches the way they dress. They express their true selves through their clothing. They're not trying to copy somebody, you know, famous or whatever. They're be, yeah. they're expressing who they truly are. So I think the most important thing is to get in touch with who you are. You know, start journaling, start writing down words that mm -hmm. you, you know, if you have to pick five words that describe who you are, forget about your style, just who right. you are. You know, are you conservative? Are you edgy? Are you, you know, you know, writing down these things about yourself is one way. Another way is to start looking around, like just go sit in a, in a downtown shopping mall or something and mm -hmm. start looking at all the women walking around and start really take, you know, dissecting what they're wearing and thinking, I like this, I don't like that, whatever. Just kind of gather information about all this kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, and from that, you're going to, you're going to, you're going to, you know, get a clearer picture of who you are. And then it's a matter of finding the clothing that express that. And sometimes that's where an image consultant can come in. It's interesting because I was, I was thinking about this. You, you're, you're saying, you know, getting in touch with who you are and letting that, letting that be the, the, your reflection of your style, which right. I love. And I think that that is a missing message to a lot of women. You know, they, they immediately think, okay, um, I want to, I want to look good. I want to, I want to feel better. I want the right color. I want the right clothes. And they go out and they're trying but a lot of the times I, I, I want to say, you know, slow down and, and just and, and wait and pause for a minute and, and really start to connect with yourself. Like, what is it that's really, who, who are you? Are, are you someone that's really creative? Are you really quiet? Because I really feel like the, how you describe yourself or even maybe yes. a little bit of how you kind of want to be will, right. will help you define what kind of clothes you want to wear too. Because if you're someone that's loud and dynamic and outgoing, that should define the kind of clothes you're going to wear, right? Versus absolutely. There's, I mean, there's so yeah. many factors that come into play. There's mm -hmm. personality. Oh yeah. You know, like, like I have a lot of women that are afraid of color. They, they, mm -hmm. red. They would never wear red. You know, right. that's just not them. You know, fine. That they, they, they really feel that's not them. That's not them. Myself, I love red. I love red, and yet I don't know if I would call myself. I'm definitely not. I wouldn't call myself an extrovert, but I love red. Um, you know, it, it also is based on your body type. So it's your personality, your body type, mm -hmm. your lifestyle. You know, you yeah. may be out of the corporate world and, you know, you keep buying all these beautiful work clothes. Well, yeah. you know, that's a waste of money. So you've got to buy clothes that, that fit your lifestyle now. So so many factors come into play. Yeah. And I like that you brought up a lifestyle. That's a really, really important one is to really think about, you know, when do you want to dress up and when, when does it not that important to you and to, and mm -hmm. also just to make sure you've got some stuff that you can actually dress up into when you want to. I find that, you know, I, I always yeah. love work clothes. You know, I was, when I used to work, it was the eighties and nineties. Mm -hmm. Um, I worked in television for 20 years and I, I wore the big, you know, power suits and the bright colors and, oh, I loved those clothes so much. <laughs> and, you know, I, Still to this day, I find myself when I see beautiful work clothes, beautifully tailored, gorgeous work clothes, I just, oh, I want to buy them. And I think, <laughs> why, why would I buy that? I'm sitting behind the computer at home. I'm going up to the grocery store. You know what I mean? So I've had to work really hard to not buy those clothes and to get into more um, you know, just casual clothes, but that are still yeah. classy. I like classy yeah. And I think it's the opposite is true too. I think for those that have kind of been in their, uh, I'm going to call it their bubble, right? They've been yeah. they're just, they've been wearing their jeans and t-shirts for 20 years, and now they're ready to really kind of pull it together. And they have to get out of the habit of buying the same things too. They right. have to go. They have to really stretch. I think and go. Okay, wait. Let, let, you know they're. To try to find something maybe just like you said, just a little bit dressier, just a little bit classier 
and just your jeans and t-shirts. Say the one thing that I do miss is, mm -hmm. you know, nobody, there's no reason to get dressed up anymore. Like mm -hmm. everybody, you know, what you wear on a plane could be the same thing that you wear out <laughs> to a very fancy dinner, even yeah. to a wedding. I mean, there's no, and it was yeah. kind of fun to have a little bit of a dress yeah. code for different things because then you went out to shop and you'd say, okay, I need an outfit for this whatever function. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you know, okay, it has to be like this, but it's, it's, I think it's kind of made fashion a little bit boring that we, that we don't have yeah. a, a little bit of a dress code anymore, you know? Right. Kind of have to make your own dress code up, right? Yeah. And I think that, could, that yeah. I tell you, that uses a lot of women. And I would say <laughs> that that's very popular on the blog. They like to know what to wear to this, what to wear to that. Mm -hmm. I mean, I can't really give, you know, Mm -hmm. super detailed advice about that because there there are no rules there are yeah. no style rules you know i can't right. say oh you should wear this or that i can kind of just it's it's all about kind of you know looking at the function looking at the invitation um imagining the mood of the event and you know getting something to go along with that so you said that you loved wearing red what are your other colors that you love to wear I love to wear red. If you look at my blog or my Instagram, mm -hmm. you will see I wear coral, coral, coral all the time. Coral, peach, coral, peach. <laughs> but you know what? Those are my colors. I look good in those colors. And mm -hmm. so I feel good in those. I look good in them. So then I feel good in them. And, you know, I really believe that color affects, well, it's psychologically proven that color affects the person wearing it yep. and it affects the viewer as well yeah. and you know I put on red or yellow or orange mm -hmm. or coral and I feel energetic and I feel good and that translates into confidence and then the way other people react to me because of that confidence yeah. so you know for other people it may be different you know somebody it might be blue they feel mm -hmm. good when they wear blue they look fantastic in blue um, you have to find your wow color yeah you know? yeah and exactly. that's kind of your signature thing Part of your signature I, style. I you can't have enough of it in my opinion you know if you what's love yours? Color, what's your favorite color oh my gosh so my favorite color is red so i have like red flats red bags red sweaters red top you know and what's funny is i don't think i have any red right now for the summer i have shorts mm -hmm. i gotta figure that one out no i absolutely love red and it's funny though as much as i love it I actually don't have that much in my closet. What I actually have a lot of is like turquoises and teals. I have a lot hmm. of that in my closet because it's it matches my eyes. And so it's it's one of my signature colors. And I know that mm -hmm. looks really, really good. And I love it when I pop it with red. Mm -hmm. so like I'll wear like a turquoise top and, you know, say navy pants and then red flats or something like that in my red bag. And I love it. I always feel really great when I wear um, colors yeah, like so I mean, you have to wear the colors that give you confidence. Yeah, exactly. That's very important. I think I think we probably are are like you know twins when it comes to to coloring because I also wear the reds and the corals and the peaches and those golden colors and yeah yeah I've got the warm coloring yeah mm -hmm. yeah and my sister who looks very much like me she's the mm -hmm. opposite she's got cool oh, really? coloring yeah just, she's got blonde hair but she's got that pinky yep coloring you know very yeah. white skin with a pinky coloring. Um, right. and she, you know, looks horrible in all my colors. Um, <laughs> that's why we can't trade clothes because she looks horrible <laughs> in my colors and I look horrible in her colors. You know, she goes for the like pale, pale pinks and pale blues and, you know, she's very, she's right. like a light summer, you know? Yeah. Um, so it's, it's, but yeah, I think it's really important color. Okay. So then I'm going to put you on the spot. How do you feel about wearing black? I used to like to wear black when I was younger, mm -hmm. you know, I thought it was, I still like black. I think it's elegant and chic, but I don't, I really don't wear it anymore, especially, well, not near my face because mm -hmm. first of all, I'm fair to begin with, you know, I'm very, I've got a blonde hair and hazel eyes and, you know, I'm very white <laughs> sometimes, <laughs> yeah. unfortunately. Um, so, you know, and then as I've gotten older, I've gotten paler, you know, yeah. with the aging thing. Um, so when I wear black, it's really harsh and it's high contrast and I just think it drags me down and 
makes me look old. And I find that with a lot of older women. So yeah. I say, you know, it's not like you have to abandon black, but just be careful with black. You know, you mm -hmm. might want to wear a colorful scarf with that black top or some mm -hmm. jewelry, or you might want to wear black on your bottom half and not your top or, you know, whatever. There's many little tricks you can do yeah. if you still want to wear black. Yep. And I know that women that I've talked to about this that wear a lot of black and then I, I kind of shift them over into color, you know, they, they feel better. They feel happier. Again, it's that thing where color affects yeah. your mood. But I think most women over 40, especially over 50 and beyond, because of the aging process and our skin getting paler and lighter and more dark circles and more wrinkles and that, it really is very um, high contrast and yep. harsh. How do you feel about getting older? The good and the bad. <laughs> okay. Oh, well, you know, <laughs> honestly, I thought about that. And yeah. overall, you know, I truly cherish getting older. I really do. And I'm, I, I mean it because it's a gift. And I'm very lucky to be here and to see my kids all pretty much grown and out of high school and starting their lives. And I feel very, very thankful to grow old. Um, the bad? <laughs> well, I think we've all experienced this, you know, <laughs> thinking you're 35 in your head and then waking up and looking in the mirror one day and going, oh my gosh, I'm seeing my <laughs> mother or my grandmother. Who is that person in there? That's not me. I that know. can't be me. That's impossible. Um, so that's a little bit, yeah. you know. Um, but the way I get through that is I just kind of laugh it off and I have really great friends and we, you know, complain about it or whatever or we trade secrets oh i tried this and this worked for me and this cream was great and this you know conditioner was wonderful so you know we just we just do that so i think friends are really important as you age to, to help you get through the aging process and you know um just i uh, treat yourself like we were talking mm -hmm. about pamper yourself go get a facial you know yeah. every couple of months um you know, you want to try those false lashes everybody's doing, try them, you know, whatever makes you feel good. I think if it makes you feel good, do it. I know? agree. Definitely. It. You make you laugh looking in the mirror. Because <laughs> I was, you know, um, last weekend, my daughter was going to prom and um, I wasn't, I was responsible for doing her makeup mm -hmm. because, you know, color is my thing, right? Sure. And she does trust my judgment, I think. But nevertheless, you know, I'm putting on her makeup and she's beautiful. She's got this, you know, beautiful, perfect skin and big brown mm. eyes and long lashes and healthy hair. And, you know, and I'm doing her makeup and I look over in the mirror and I don't have any makeup on and my hair is not fixed. It's just kind of straight yeah. on and down. And I'm looking at myself and I look over at her and I'm like, oh my God. What <laughs> happened? Like, such a contrast. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. You know, what do you, I, I know. Do? you can't, you can't sweat it, right? You can't no, sweat you it. Can't. You, can, I just, you know, I just, I guess my philosophy is, okay, I, I, it's not like I'm trying to look young. I don't want to look like I'm in right. my, you know, 20s, 30s, whatever. I don't want to look young, but right. I darn well want to look the best I can for the age I'm at. Right. That's how I feel. I just want to look good yeah. for, you know, well you know, preserved. Well, you don't try to look like you're 20 when you're not 20. No, I, yeah. I don't, you know, I really don't think women our age want to do that. They don't want to go back and look 20. It's not no. that they, it's just, they want to look, I would say I want to look vibrant. I don't want to look tired. I want to look vibrant and healthy and energetic. You know, that's, yes. you know, no, I love that. I love it. Vibrant's a great word to describe that really. Yeah. Um, so, okay. Um, all right. So you are busy. You're doing your blog right now and uh, you've got kids in college and one in high school. So right now, what is, what do you love about right now in your life? This, this moment in your life, what, what just really lights you up? Um, well, I guess a couple of things. One is, uh, it lights me up seeing my kids starting their lives, lives and, yeah. you know, working towards something they're really passionate about because I'm, very big on that. I meet so many women, especially in their forties who say, okay, now it's time for me. I'm going to do something that I want to do. And I think mm -hmm. if you haven't been doing something you want to do all these years. That makes me yeah. feel really sad because yeah. I've always really enjoyed everything I've done. I worked in mm -hmm. television. I enjoyed that immensely. And now I'm doing internet and I, and I love that. I, I love fashion. I I'll never retire. I love all this stuff. So <laughs> um, that, that gives me a lot of joy. Um, I also love I love my blog. I love connecting with women. 
I love helping them feel better about themselves. What better job is that than helping women feel <laughs> good and happy about their lives? And, you know, sometimes people will be talking about retirement and they'll say, well, when are you going to retire? And I'll say, I, I'm not. Yeah. <laughs> I don't, I never have planned on retiring. I love to learn. I love to grow. I love to help people. And I'm going to be doing this, you know, fabulous after 90. <laughs> 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 that would be amazing. That would be mm -hmm. amazing. <laughs> it's not. It's not so surprising. I get a lot of older gals too. Who, sure. So know, do I. So do I. I, I yeah. love it because they bring a new perspective. I love it. Over, yeah. Mm -hmm. To the group Good for yeah. them. Yeah. So, what are your plans this year? What? Well, this year I I did it. I used to do courses on the internet, uh, mm -hmm. tweak your chic style courses. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I have had a lot of demand to get back into doing that. In fact, some of my ladies have been with me for so many years. They, they were even in one of those courses way back okay. when. Yeah. So I am trying to put together a course for that. And I want to give them information that makes a difference. So I'm working on that. That's Good. very exciting. And yeah. personally, I just love to travel. So hopefully I'll get away this summer. But, you know, when you've got kids this age you never know what's going on so no we'll that's see. the truth we'll about that mm -hmm. <laughs> the schedule's gonna change on a daily basis in my that's house right you know i never do. even know who's coming over and dropping by and you never know <laughs> if people want to learn more about you where can they go what what, what would you or would you like them to okay, go well they can go to www.fabulousafter40 that's four zero so fabulousafter40.com Okay. And I have a free special report, five massive mistakes that make you that so you don't look too old, too young, but just right. Right. Mm. You want to find that middle ground. And that's that. what that report is all about. So you can join up there. You can join my Facebook group. We're just starting that up. We're going to chat, chat, chat about a little more in depth about things that we don't talk about on the blog. Um, awesome. And hopefully I should be going to YouTube as well. I mean, I did TV for all those years and I've done nothing on YouTube for quite a while. So yeah, wow. so I'm, I'm really excited about that. And I, as I always say, life is too short to be frumpy, you know? So, and, and this has been wonderful. Thank you so much, Jennifer. Oh my gosh. This has been so much fun. Truly a pleasure. You are an inspiration to me and I know you're going to be an inspiration to my listeners as well. So thank you so much for taking the time to sit with me today. Oh, you're welcome. My pleasure. So once again, that was Deborah Boland from the blog fabulousafter40.com and 40 is the numbers, four zero. So check out her blog and see all of her style tips and outfit ideas. It's a really great place to be. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Your Color Style. And if you're trying to figure out your colors, visit the blog and the quiz at yourcolorstyle.com slash quiz. Thank you so much for listening to the Your Color Style podcast, where we believe the more you know about color, the more you'll know what colors flatter you best.